Hello my beautiful friends, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well, I hope you are mentally well, and you are also physically well. I hope that not only you are well, but also your family and your friends, your neighbors, and everyone that is around you is doing well in this difficult time. Times are tough, but you have to remember that this too shall pass. So I'm hearing a lot of women talking about how, oh my god, I can't go to the nail salon, oh my god, I can't get my hair done, I can't do this, I can't do that. I am the type of person that I do everything at home, so I do my own nails, I do my own hair, I cut my own hair, I don't color my hair, so I'm good, I'm good with makeup and hair, so I'm lucky in that sense. So that being said, I'm going to show you guys how I do my $10 manicure, how I get these nails myself, what I do, all my tricks and tips, because to be honest, this will last me like two weeks, almost three weeks, because of the techniques that I have come up with and that I use on myself. So this is the brand of nails that I use, the cover fell off, but I use the, the Kind Short Square, and you can kind of see in the picture. They're a little bit on the shorter side. I figured I wanted to go shorter for right now during the quarantine. I got these before everything started happening, but I just felt like doing shorter nails. You get a hundred in this pack and it comes with your own glue. However, I'm gonna show you a different glue that I use. The other glue that I use lasts a lot longer than this glue and I will be showing you guys exactly what I use, so. It's going to last you a long time. It'll, it'll probably last me a few months. A hundred nails, is, is, that's a lot. So I highly recommend this to learn how I do these nails at home. Looking good, looking salon approved, then please keep watching. First you want to start by picking out your fake nails and putting them on your real nails to make sure the shape is correct and the size is correct. Now this is my secret. Crazy glue is what keeps these nails on for two weeks plus. Use the crazy glue at your own risk. I am not being respon I am not responsible if you glue your fingertips together. So instead I'm going to use the glue that comes in this package. I put the glue right on my fingernail. Some people put on the fake nail and then put it on. I find this works way better to put it on my real nail. And then what I do is take the fake nail and I will squeeze it down for about 20 seconds, maybe a little bit less, and really hold the nail. That's gonna adhere, the glue is gonna adhere way better, so that's my trick to just hold it for as long as you can, but give a lot of, put a lot of pressure on your nail. And now you wanna start shaping your nails. It's as simple as just Whatever shape you're looking for, I like this oval, actually it's a square shape that we're working with today. So I just, I, when I like the shape of the nail already, the fake nail, I will just simply softly go over it just so it's not so rough because fake nails can be a little bit scratchy. So I'm, I'm almost doing more of a, like a buffing method here, just really soft and this one has both sides so you can buff the nail and shape the nail with the nail filer so I don't go too hard just pretty gentle because I like the shape but if you need to cut them down or whatever shape you want to go for that has nothing to do with how to put these nails on that that's totally up to you be creative some people like them longer I like them kind of medium I don't like crazy over-the-top nails so just a little bit of length but still classy and elegant want to note that this nail filer does not come with this kit it comes with another kit a French manicure kiss nail kit so just keep that in mind you won't get this if you buy the same kit as me and now where the fun begins we're starting to paint our nails I have been digging red nails so I've been just keeping up with that it doesn't matter what color you go with it's all about the method and how you paint them it's all about having a thin layer and I do one little layer at a time meaning you'll see I go like I don't do the whole nail at once I go very very thin and I scrape the brush off a lot this is what's gonna give you that flawless look no chips no bumps anything like that this is how I get them looking salon approved nice and smooth and shiny now if it's too hard for you to paint your nails, 
before you apply them. You can always do it ahead. I've seen people do this too. It's just, as you can see, it's a little bit more of a struggle to me. But you can take the nail, the fake nail, paint them first, and then put them on. I'm just showing you other options. I find it's a lot easier to have the fake nails already glued onto my real nails and then start painting. And that is it, my friends. Have fun, be creative, and stay safe. I will talk to you very, very soon. Thank you.